The following program is not meant to spread hate or lies to the people discussed in the video or to harm. This is meant to be a story about someone that felt the need to be heard. This is completely real and unstaged. Please do not send any hate or threats to this person that will be talking about the people in this video. As for me and my co-host, please do not send hate or threats to the people that will be talked about in this story. We do not have any problems with them. If you believe you're not going to like what you see or hear, then please stop watching now. Thank you. I, 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 I. Puts us in this, in this, this way that we have to uh, change our perspective about a lot of things, you know. And uh, I had to fix my focus, fix me, rebirth myself, and I just wish her well. You did. Previously on the story of Kayla Jean. Basically, got her for Logan a month before his birthday and I guess they just kind of hit it off. I don't think that what Tito was saying, you know, about him and her on her period or some You don't think that was true? Oh no, it was because I have um <laughs> I have a I have a picture of Yeah, you Yeah, didn't you say you had like a message from who mm -hmm. did you say who was the Wendy from you to Wendy or I mean to no, from Wendy to me and a couple other people that were close with him. It's just so many pictures of them like just kissing and like the fact I that know. they were together, it was even more- And she posting on a call with her butt out. <laughs> you can't get over that big of a thing. I can't you? get over that. So Brandy, actually, since you're, we kind of talked about this already. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it would be best if you were the one that started off today's video because since you were the one that had the most questions. <laughs> I do. Yeah, but I put you on the spot like that. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. This is a question that you said the last video that I wanted to know. So you said that Wendy was the one that said Adriana, Adriana with Logan. Mm -hmm. But I thought Monica said that she set him up with Logan or whatever. They both played a role in it, I think. Supposedly, hmm. uh for his birthday when they had gone to Orlando they went to this strip club in Miami Monica and Adriana both the strippers there and you know Logan likes bonds and stuff like that so I think something happened along the way where Wendy got involved and she basically picked her just for Logan and to kind of let it go Monica was for Tito and then because Monica was friends with Willow or Adriana, whatever, whatever, that's how they started to really get in touch. But that was the whole point because Wendy does, and Chili didn't get along at all. And that's, as far as I know, that's what happened. I know that a lot of it's not going to make sense because there's so much that nobody's ever going to know. But that's as far as I know. It was something for his birthday and his birthday is October. November, but they met in October. I believe she's an escort as well, like I think I said last time. And also, I a little drama you two had. Want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> With me and who? Adriana, when she... I, I, I don't know. Um, I never said a word to her. I, I never had any conversation with her. I don't even know why or how she knows who I am because I never had anything to do with her. Um, I talked to Monica fine, but she blocked me a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I remember like literally saying something nice on one of her pitches with Lady Gaga because that's my favorite person in the world. And she even wrote back like, thank you or something like that. But that was it and then I just noticed like I couldn't see her profile or anything and I was like alright I'm blocked whatever who cares and then all of a sudden that happened the other day in the chat and I was like like what what like what did I do to you to act so harsh you know mm -hmm. I, I didn't I never said anything to her ever 
unless she's getting fed information by Wendy, which I'm pretty sure she is. That's fine. <laughs> because literally the same thing that she had said in the chat was what um, Wendy would say, you know, like, go take care of your kids or something like that. And that, that, those are like Wendy words. So what if, what if her account was being controlled by Wendy? Cause Brandy was actually telling me uh, a while ago that there will be times when the manager would control like their mm -hmm. client's account. So I was just saying to myself, like, she, what if there'll be times? She wouldn't do that to her though. She would do that to Logan, not her. Oh, like no, okay. she, she would never do that to, to her. Hmm. I don't I know. Don't, I don't know. I mean, it, anything is possible at this point. But I mean, I really, I don't think, I, I don't know. Like, it could have been. I, I would never, I wouldn't deny it. But I don't, I don't know if she would actually do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was just thinking like that because for starters, like, after all, she is like his girlfriend now. So I just figured that, you know, since they're a thing... I don't, I didn't mean to do air quotes. Sorry, Logan fans, whatever. <laughs> I was just, I'm sorry, but I still kind of think the relationship, no, correction. We both, I don't like yeah. people, that's like, we both kind of think the relationship, I'm sorry. We both kind of think the relationship is a little bit like, staged? Yeah. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'll see once this coronavirus thing lights up and she's allowed to go back to work, we'll see where she is then. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, I, I I swear I think she thinks of him like a sugar daddy for now <laughs> because he he has the money to. Dang, but yeah, I'm the liar. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I mean, I understand. Like the only reason why people are just saying that you're the so-called liar is because of the fact that um, you know, because a lot of people really say, just came out the blue. That I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go and say who told me this because I already know. You know, the risk of putting that person's name out there would do, and this person is absolutely amazing and doesn't deserve any of that. So that's why, if I'm not gonna say, you know, like I could have shared the whole conversation that I had with this person, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not really anybody's business. It was like. Take with this information as you will, and you know that's about it. But I'm not gonna go and put somebody. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna go and put the blame on somebody else. Somebody that I absolutely know is a hundred percent telling the truth. I'm not gonna do that. And if I don't have proof, you know, it it's a lie, I guess. But I will say this: I can guarantee you, in a couple months, when football season starts, you're gonna see some kind of a vlog or post or something that he paid $800,000 to spend a whole day with Tom Brady on his first um, Tampa Bay game. So. What? Yeah. Huh? What? $10,000? It, it, was, it was an auction um, to spend basically the whole first game day with Tom Brady, get his jersey that he wore at the game, his cleats he wore at the game, after the game, you can either go to dinner with him or work out with him or something. Bro. And um, it was an auction, basically. And it started off at, I want to say, $50,000. And it kept going up, obviously, because only people that do that have money. Mm. And um, he paid $800,000. Jesus. And he won. And nobody knows that. So if I'm that big of a liar... If that doesn't come out, then I'm a liar. But if it does come out, oh my I'm god, facts are right. <laughs> so you'll see when football season comes out, when that vlog or post or something comes out. Bruh, should I put this on pause then? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why am I putting this video on pause and be like, okay, yeah, we recorded this at this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, might as well. Eight hundred thousand damn dollars. Hundred thousand. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! That, that I mean, and that, it, you know, like that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you have the money, you do what you want. But at the same time, it's like you can't. I don't know, but you know, like if I had that kind of money, I would be able to do whatever I wanted to, too. But at the same time, I think he—that's why he gets taken advantage of so much. Because you know, if you don't have those right, that right circle of people around you, like. You know, his brother would never take advantage of him. Pablo, he's down to earth. 
I don't know about anybody else. Everybody else, especially Wendy. I mean, he's bought her, I think, two cars already. Like, he, she has a credit card that he pays. I mean, like, it's just, it's ridiculous. And he, and he believes that it's okay because they're helping him. But at the same time, he doesn't need that. Like, she's not doing anything that he needs to be paying that amount of money for. But that's, that's the, and it comes down to the money. And it's like, you know, I think he's just easily manipulated very easily. Like, he can offer money and people will take it, but the right people won't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I never took a, I never took a dollar from him. Yes, he offered, he literally called one day. I was watching the Patriots plane take off because they, where they take off from their air, is down the street from my house and you know this was what not this past Super Bowl obviously the one before you know so I, I was on Instagram live and he had messaged me and he's like what would you do if um, I paid for you to go to the Super Bowl so it was like huh you know it was like what so th that was kind of how I got these I don't know I don't want to say gifts but like I was offered to do go to these things and I was always like, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? But as far as actual physical money, no. Mm. Never. Jeez. Never, never, never. Yeah. And I, I refused to take money too. It wasn't like, you know, like when everything had happened after, it was like, you know, I'll, I'll give you money. And it was like, for what? To say, okay, here, here's money, keep your mouth shut. Like, I didn't want to do that. Keep your mouth shut? What? I, <laughs> well, that, what? That, that wasn't him, that was Wendy's words. Oh, uh, I was gonna say I'm like pause for a second. <laughs> like he over here telling you he keep your mouth shut. No, he never said that. Okay, I was just making sure. I was like, he better he about to catch these hands in a second if he about to hit talk to you like that. <laughs> Brandon and I, we don't play around. Okay, I'm just saying. No, he, <laughs> he he based the only thing that ever happened was when um the Monica video came out was like there's songs that my my daughter can even say I can't listen to to this day because yeah thing you say was that uh Jason Derulo song I think it was yeah there's two of them <laughs> my daughter's making a face because she's like mom don't cry <laughs> She already knows. Uh, I thought, I'm not trying to make you cry or anything like that, but what was Are like? You gonna, what was gonna, like? Huh? Are you gonna play it? No, I can't play it. It's oh. copyright. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna play it. No. Oh. I, I'm not trying to get copyright struck. The YouTube police will come fast. <laughs> they would. They would. They would for sure. And I'm not trying to get striked on this channel no, for playing okay. Jason Derulo. Well, that's the only. I wouldn't torment you like that. That, that mm -hmm. was really messed up. That was like that day when I was at work and it, you were like. How much do you miss him? And I just like cried my eyes out. My, my daughter's used to that. I used to just randomly just start crying, and she's like, "What happened?" I didn't think you should cry over him, though. I mean, like I know you guys were like close. Not anymore. No. I mean, like right after everything, it was crazy. But now, no. Okay. Uh, Brandy, what was the question that you had before? Um, so, like, I saw the videos that you made on Instagram. Like, Faith sent me a link to them. Yeah, the last video when you said that I'm just gonna focus on, like, me. Like, what did you mean by that? Like, you know, I'm just out of curiosity. Things happen when you kind of let them go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not gonna... I mean, I wasn't, like, this makes me sound, like, so, like, desperate and mm -hmm. weird. But I, it's not like I was... I wasn't really begging to have him come back in my life. I just kind of wanted some kind of an explanation, like what happened. Like, how do you go from talking to somebody for two years, hours a day, all night, messaging all the time? You know, you don't ask a random girl to go to the Super Bowl with you. Like, you don't have me go and meet Tom Brady and spend the whole day with you. Like, we would pick him up at the airport, bring him back to the airport. It was like two years of that and phone calls and FaceTimes and messaging and all of a sudden it just, you know, like you disappear. And like, I just wanted one explanation and it 
a year later, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get that. And it's just kind of like, you know, it is what it is. And maybe one day he'll say, okay, I can reach out. I mean, because like I said, it's kind of odd that, you know, despite her, Adriana blocking me, you know, things like that. Like he never blocked me. He never, you know, like, I mean, I sent one, I sent a message on Instagram thinking he was going to block me. I literally just wrote, hey, that was it. Never seen it. And I was like, okay, you know, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. There's nothing really else for me to try and do or say, like, I can't. You can't make somebody be in your life, and if this is what he wants to do, that's the road he wants to take. I mean, I just hope that he doesn't crash and burn and be left with nothing because, you know, I mean, I'll always care about him because of what he's done for me. But at the same time, it's just like, I can't have respect for you when you're treating people that really do love you like you know? And then there's people around you that you know are using you just as bad as the ones that you kicked out. But that's okay. You know, it's like there's a lot of things that don't make sense. But at the same time, it's like it was too, it's too much to figure out. And like I'm, th I'm thousands of miles away. Like what the heck am I going to do? There's no point. It's like why am I going to worry about that? I'll just, I'll, I have my own. Yes, I do have a life. And yes, I do have my kids. I don't really have to take care of them. I mean, my daughter's 13. If I try and take care of her, she'd probably smack me for it. Like, <laughs> every teenager. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you know, she's 13. What am I supposed to do? Come on, let me wash you up. You know, like, my kids are taken care of. I, they're not babies. Mm -hmm. That's why it was like, when it got to that point, like, I'll let it go. Like, she was like, you know, I have two points. One, Kayla, shut the f up. Two, Kayla, shut the f up. I yeah. Like, I know. That was stupid. That was like, really immature. Where. I was like, I, I didn't even say anything specifically to her. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like mm -hmm. Adrian. Like, like no, I didn't even no. Like I don't, I don't do that. Like that's just stupid. Like if I see something escalating like that, I'll just get away from it because I'm mature enough to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm like it's just ridiculous. So it, it was <laughs> sorry. And I was like, you know, I just want, I don't want nothing to do with any of that anymore. So <laughs> that's what I meant. I'm like, I'll just let it go. I'm sorry, I don't mean to shot fire at Adriana, but I, I, I thought it was so funny how when I was like showing, I showed Brandy the messages too with Adriana, and I thought it was so funny how she was like, I never abused Logan, unlike his ex. On the other hand, I'm saying to myself, says the one who stole her ex, <laughs> like basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I know. I mean, I've been in that Same. situation in real life where, you know, when my daughter was a baby and my, I was married to her father, and he left me for someone a lot older than him, like his mom's age. And the woman that he was with played the, well, you know, I'm, I'm innocent. And it's like, you know he's married. You know he has a kid. Like, what are you doing? And she was a grown woman and didn't care. And so that's what I mean. It's like, why are you going to play the innocent role yourself? Like everybody, nobody knew they had these issues because it was such a fake, fake, happy, smile, fake relationship. And... I don't think she would ever leave him no matter what he did because that was like her support, you know? Like if he took away that channel right now or any day, which I don't know why he he's waiting, but he kind of holds that over our head now. Like if you do this, I'm going to delete your channel. If you do this, I'm going to like, instead of her being the one to hold things over his head, he has that power and he does. He has the right to it. That's his channel. But I mean, that's what he's holding over her head now. You know, like if I see another picture of you and Mark together on, on Instagram, I'm, I'm going to delete your channel. Like, I, I mean, I don't know why he's like blackmailing her about that because, okay, I get that was his channel. Technically, that was his channel because yeah. he gave it to her. That's like giving somebody a gift for like, five, like you gave them like five years ago. Mm -hmm. and like, you're like, oh, I want that back now. Like, it's my, I bought it with my money. So I'm, I want it back. I'm like, you don't just take something back that you already gave somebody. Like, I mean, I get that it was yours at the I time. I mean, you know, I, I get it on both of their parts. I really do. But it's hard when, you know, like I was so close with him and obviously not her that I could see and, you know, he was like, he just seemed so innocent and taken advantage of. Oh, yeah, because I keep hearing about like the whole, oh, um, the whole family was doing something 
like i don't remember what was it what was it exactly like something about i keep hearing about the whole chili gold digger crap thing and then mm -hmm. tito with the whole he's making my channel and then the family's cleaning the house or yeah. something like that i don't remember i mean i don't know about him i know that i mean they don't she kind of knows how to edit i guess not the way that he does obviously but i mean that was how their channels were running you know thumbnails editing um unless he would ask her to help out and make a thumbnail everything was him and that's why there was like periods of time where like he didn't upload a video because he was helping them and i didn't think that was fair because he didn't turn around and say okay you know what i want blah blah percent of your channel and he could have but that's why you know everybody close to him used to be like you know you need a lawyer like an actual lawyer not a person that manages a sandwich shop to be your manager that doesn't do anything i mean it's like you need actual financial help and you know authority figures backing up your assets because he's not a young teenage kid that has a couple thousand people watching his channels now this is like an actual business yeah a lot of people we say on youtube talking about how oh um some people keep talking about how logan only cares about the money it's always like he does appreciate his og fans or something like that or whatever i because i was watching bits of lance's vlogs i thought it was like very petty how he would talk about how oh man this is like every time he'll make a cheating joke or a breakup joke about chili and i'm like you're not innocent in this either keep in mind that dude like he keeps acting like oh yeah chili cheated on me and i'm like you cheated on her too man <laughs> Right, baby, we're doing Elena's Meet the Cast for the second time. This time it's actually going to get uploaded. Yeah. <laughs> because you know who's not involved. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 I've been cheated on, and it, it didn't hurt as bad as that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish Chili would have listened to that. Stop. She should have listened. Underscore, why were you gone for like a year? Mm. Logan, you answer that. Yeah, Logan. <laughs> she wasn't allowed to film. Oh, because of you know who? Because the person I was dating wouldn't let her film. Yeah. So that's why she wasn't allowed to film. When I would try to get her to film, it wouldn't happen. Next question. <laughs> Had to. <laughs> Had to. You can buy nice stuff when you don't have someone mooching off you and stealing all your money. Hey, that's why TV's gone. <laughs> <laughs> my Photoshop designed, and I wrapped my entire room. The TV's gone. It was stolen. But I got the whole... <laughs> I got the <laughs> just wishes over that. As I can. I'm, I'm gonna put as much effort as I do in this and chili put in our relationship. Oh. Which means I'm not even gonna do anything. Let me see if I can carry it all by myself. Oh. That was me vlogging every day. <laughs> when she took everything, I'm surprised she didn't take this. <laughs> I, we, we, we've been trying to get in it for like an hour. It needs a key. And uh, the person who has the key is no longer in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get off topic for a second. I know to some people it's a joke and it's funny, it's entertaining, it's hilarious, and sometimes it's mixed a lot. It's not just him. And there's some people that say that she deserves it, but there are some people that feel like, you know, he brings it up every five seconds or he hasn't moved on as well as we thought, or that he's hurt by the breakup still. And there are people that say he needs to get over it because, you know, it's been like five to six months now since they broke up, I believe, maybe more. I don't know. You know, there's some people that are fine with it and just say, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, in all fairness, I don't think it's personally fair to talk about your past love life, especially if you're currently dating somebody else and you're talking about them in front of her. I know she made a joke about it, too, but it's just kind of like weird i don't know if that was like supposed to be like a supportive thing or what but i just feel like it's not good to talk about somebody especially if you've been in a relationship for like eight to ten years now i understand that it ended really badly because y'all had problems going on between the two of you but i just feel like it's not good to talk about somebody especially in a negative way or in a jokingly way because you don't realize how hurtful and demeaning it could be to somebody even if it is taken as a joke but you know that's just my opinion you know i have a right to say what i have to say freedom of speech but personally, I just don't think, you know, insulting, joking, whatever, to other people can make you feel better. This is going out to everybody, not just them. Also, shout out to drama.sml for letting me use his Instagram story for this video. All right, back to the series. Like, yeah, you, like, I don't, like, I don't know what I you're mean, it's easy to point the finger. I mean, I think, th I mean, they both did. He's popular. I going to know who did what first. It would have been easier if they kind of just came out and was like, look, you know, 
we weren't really in a good place in our relationship and this is why this happened and that's kind of why it turned into this whole i mean he was so afraid of fans you know turning against him but they did anyways and then they kind of flip-flopped like okay it's all his fault oh wait no it's all her fault oh wait no no it's all his fault oh wait it's her fault <laughs> and then they just kind of like split and they're like okay i side with her i side with him and it's like, that's why I used to say all the time from a year ago, before anything ever happened, I used to be like, you know, famous people break up all the time. I mean, you know, it's, you have your fans because of the content that you make, not by who you date. So, true, true. you know, true. and it's like her vlog channel just kind of showed them behind the scenes and what they were doing their off time, which nobody's ever really that hyped up all day pulling pranks all day every day like no that doesn't happen all the time like if you want to be real show them how stressed he was like pacing back and forth because she basically had him under surveillance all the time you know like show that or show you know all the times that she would come home like drunk and knocked out and you know like even my daughter's right here i there was so many bottles of liquor inside of her mini fridge next to the bed that I, I just threw them away. I mean, like they weren't expensive bottles, but I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like a bottle of brandy, like just sitting on the side of the, the, like the mirror. She's over 21. But at the same time, it's like, if you're going to be that drunk when you know that it runs in your family of having alcohol problems and authority issues, then maybe you should kind of go easy with it. <laughs> Oof, I didn't know that. Too. Yeah. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. But I'm a liar. I lie. You know, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, she actually talked to me and um, not even that long ago. And she was just kind of like, you know, he did, like Logan did come out and say everything that he ever did. But he still to this day says that whatever happened with you was a lie. And I'm like, I sent you pictures of me in your house. How am I lying? Like... <laughs> Your dad watched me walk into the house with my kids. I mean, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, so I don't know why. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll never know. And that's why I said it's way too much on me to kind of sit there and, and keep saying like, why, what, how, what, if, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just too much. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I can't mentally do this anymore. I remember saying I wasn't going to leave unless I told him exactly how I felt, but I did. And of course he, whatever I said, he was like, you know, me too, and me too. And it was kind of like, I, I don't know. What, did he mean it? I'll never know. How you think I'm gon' react When you talk to me like that Like there was no me and you So tell me what to do when I'm still here loving you I cannot stress over things that's stressing you I cannot control what I can't control no more I cannot believe that it's me that you letting go I know what I need, I just need to let you go She just want Somebody she could have It was me, but this distance wouldn't last